well, here we are. 100 days of making comics recap video. Covering days 43 through 46. And this is from February 12th through the 15th, 2019. So here we are, looking back in time to when I was working on this project. Um, today is June 15th, 2019, Saturday night, and the Kickstarter for this book, Werewolves and Unicorns and Other Mythical Creatures, has already funded on Kickstarter. But, yes, there's a but. But we are still just shy of our next stretch goal for the poster. Um, it's a really cool looking poster. It was drawn by... Karen Lewis Bonfiglio she inked and colored it and uh, it includes characters from the anthology so if we make that stretch goal every backer who pledged for a physical reward gets one uh, I think that's pretty cool <clears throat> anyhow so we have as of right now it looks like this day is pretty much over but I'm just going to go ahead and say we have four and a half days to go uh, on the Kickstarter. Hopefully we can make that stretch goal. Everybody seems pretty confident that we can because it's a really great poster and um, it's beautiful. And I'm sure that they just, everybody wants you to have one. So I uh, hope that you will go check it out. You can pledge, you can go there. Uh, First of all, you can go to 100daysofmakingcomics.com slash Rob J if you want to get yourself a copy. So on other news, I just gave my dog a haircut tonight and he seems pretty happy uh, that we got all of this off. It's not that big of a mess, but it's a lot of hair coming off that little puppy. And uh, we, it was really overdue because he was starting to look like my little werewolf. <laughs> Can't have that running around my house. But uh seems pretty happy now. And uh, it's going to be a lot cooler for him because it's getting hotter out here. You know, summer is coming. And we just had two 100 uh, degree days last week and it's been close to 90s um, but I fully expect it to go back up to 100 plus you know, during the height of the summer as you can tell I'm already waiting for fall as fall is my favorite um, time of the year that's when Halloween is that's my favorite holiday well that's not really a holiday but when the leaves fall and the trees turn color and all this stuff turns into fall, it's really my favorite time of the year. Um, I, I like Christmas too, but you know, being from Michigan originally, we had white Christmases, but now out here in California, we don't. We have brown Christmases, brown desert Christmases, or Christmases. I don't know how you would say that, but anyway, so taking a look at my drawing here, uh, I went through this several times to try to get this to work out. Um, I would say this is pretty much the funnest part for me in doing drawing is, is, is the discovering and really this software helps you do that a lot quicker than having to use paper over and over again. Um, I recently, this, this is a Clip Studio I'm using, but I recently purchased Affinity Photo and I tried it out and there's a lot of things on there that are kind of wonky, you know, like it's not ready for prime time yet. Um, a lot of, it, it does a lot of things Photoshop can do. However, if you're really used to your, uh, your shortcuts in Clip Studio, maybe that you've emulated from Photoshop just to make it work for your workflow. You might be a little disappointed at, at uh, Affinity Photo because it's just not there yet. You know, it's just not, it's just not fully, you know, it just, it just, I don't know. Um, I tried, oh, I, sent, I spent a 
couple days looking through all the settings and trying to get something close to my shortcuts that I've already set in Clip Studio and with what works with my tablet. And you know, a couple of, when you go into your tablet settings, you can choose which buttons per your software program that you want, you know? So I was able to match, I would say 90% of my Clip Studio and Photoshop buttons in Affinity Pro or Affinity Photo. But the other 10% was just not not working for me. So I had to alter the button configuration just a little bit inside the settings for the Wacom tablet in regards to Affinity Photo only. So that you know how that is when, when you're working on a PC and then you switch to a Mac and you're trying to use that keyboard um, differences, all the different keyboard um, combinations, and it's just flipping back and forth it's kind of difficult well this is the same thing you know you got you got those difficulties a little bit but anyway I'm still playing with it I plan on doing a video on it um, at some point um, yep so I don't want to waste all my video talking about that let's look at the artwork so I'm just trying to put in some shading here and uh, you know getting this panel done um, I thought it came out okay. I mean, when you print it on the paper, it's going to look better than it does here. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, but <laughs> I had fun doing it, you know, and if you have fun doing something, that's great. You know, everything else, you, you shouldn't just worry about it so much. Well, I hope you guys have a great, great day and four days to go. Let's do this. All right. Peace out, folks. Good luck and talk to you soon. Bye. I want to thank you for watching my video. Please visit me on social media and go to Linktree to see all my social media links. And if you like this video, please like and share it. The 100 Days of Making Comics was created by Kevin Cross. The challenge is about you spending at least 30 minutes a day on your comic project. And for those 100 days, you have to document your progress on social media. To learn and see more, please follow these links and hashtags 